Good morning. It is 10.09 a.m. and you're listening to WXYC Chapel Hill Station 89.3 FM. Up next, we have a live performance from Alex from Daughter of Swords, so stay tuned.
It is 10.30 a.m. and you're listening to WXYC Chapel Hill Station 89.3 FM. We have Alex here from Daughter of Swords. and I'm so excited. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm well, how are you? Doing well. Yeah. Thanks so, for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your newest album, Dawnbreaker? Yeah, um, I put it out on Nonsuch in June. Um, and it's a record that, um, 
sort of explores the aftermath of um, the like in between times of recognizing that you need to make a big change in your life and then the actual change happening. Um, yeah, I wrote it about a breakup and and about um, sort of like the liberation and freedom that happens when you decide that it's time to move on from something that's not serving you anymore. Yeah, that's fun. And I know you have a show on Saturday at the Arts Center. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, yeah. Playing at the Arts Center this weekend. Um, Jake Xerxes Fussell is opening the show, who's the most radical, kind human who plays very beautiful music. And it's a special show because I'm having um, a band play with me and that band is made up of a bunch of stellar dudes including um nick sanborn from sylvanesso who's who co-produced my record with me and ryan gustafson from the dead tongues and jeff crawford who plays bass so beautifully and jan westerland from mipso so i'm i'm pretty stoked about about the show yeah i saw in the daily tarot that she said it was like a coming home show can you talk about that too yeah I, I live in Hillsboro so um um having played all over the country in the last um six months it feels exciting to to be back home and getting to play for the people that are part of my community yeah that's great I yeah. love that um what's your favorite part about living in Hillsboro oh man um I love the river walk along the Eno, um, and I love that there's only one coffee shop and <laughs> uh, a co-op and, like, two restaurants. I just really like small-town life, so yeah. it suits me in that way. That's exciting. Do you have anything planned immediately in the future? Yeah, I'm going on tour um, next week with Joan Shelley, who is, I don't know if you've heard her before, but yeah, she's so great. I'm stoked. So good. Yeah, and we're playing, we're going up to the Midwest for some shows, and that's where I'm from, so I'm excited to be playing yeah. in in my home region. Yeah. Do you miss the Midwest at all? I do uh, a lot. I love, I love the Midwest. I love being cold, and I love <laughs> sweaters, and I love, like, being cozy and, like, hanging out inside and playing cards, and... Um, so there's a lot that I miss, but then also I was up there a month ago and it was already like 20 degrees outside. So, Ooh, yeah. you know, <laughs> can't imagine it's a, it's a scene. Yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much for having me.